prophet can only speak about something that is already within you as otherworldly as he may seem to be he may appear to be while he is talking about strange things in strange ways asking you to do strange things or rather asking you not to do strange things he is pointing to something extraordinarily simple so simple so close to you that you miss it because it is that close how can an enlightened man's words be useful if it is not to awaken something that is already there within you just lying dormant just asleep how can he add something to you that you are already not if he does that then what is the difference between him and the world around you rarely are you understood rarely people pause stop what they are doing and listen to you rarely do they want to know you more often than not they are eager to dump something on your being it's because they themselves are unaware of that thing that is asleep the only thing if woken up would be the answer to everything you're searching for would be the light that is needed to navigate the dark corridors of life it's because they have not looked within it's because they have not been introduced to that part of themselves they do not see it they do not see it in themselves and they know they do not see it in others so you live in a world where if you don't guard yourself if you're not watchful if you're not aware somebody is always ready to totally erase your true identity and replace it with something that has nothing to do with you the world is constantly trying to infiltrate your mind the world is a girdling creeper it needs your strength to survive to climb higher to proclaim that it is taller than all the things that is around it but without you it is just a creeper crawling on the ground it goes nowhere if you understand how important that tree that knows how to reach to the sun is to that creeper you will know how important you are to the ideas and desires of the world and how important it is for you to guard yourself against the ways of the world the desires of the world the so called normal the so called familiar how can a prophet be another creeper he does not need you he is as tall as the tree he is already in the sun nothing is obstructing his view 
he wants you to become what he has become he wants you to grow into that tall tree without being smothered by the creepers how can he not speak to that part of you that knows how to grow that knows how to reach to the sky that knows how to flower and fruit it's your very nature if you are not smothered if you are not deviated it is your nature to grow it is your nature to ask questions about the heights you will not care about the usual mundane routine questions what do i make with my life how do i make it useful how can i become more rich how can i become more successful these questions do not matter they are not your questions they are simply the questions of the creeper that you have mistaken to be yours because when you were very young you could not fight the creepers you had to grow among the weeds not to condemn the weeds not to condemn the creepers but it is just their nature to cling you are too pure too beautiful too precious how can the world not misunderstand that beauty not misunderstand that purity and try to impose itself on you if you were ugly if you were dark if you were evil then everything would have stayed away from you you are a beautiful creature of existence capable of producing fragrant flowers juicy fruits that is why the attention you draw otherwise you could have grown without the necessity to keep on fighting the world you could have gone anywhere in the world without the fear of losing yourself it is because there is something within you at a certain level people can see that purity hence the drawing but because you were so young you didn't know how to fight the world around you you simply accepted you accepted your environment you accepted the knowledge that was given to you you accepted a way of life the work of the messenger of truth is to remind you of your strength is to remind you that you have stopped growing you have mistaken the leaves and branches of that creeper as your own you are nourishing the creeper you are nourishing the world you are nourishing the dreams and the desires of the world without knowing that it is not you that is why the more you feed your desires the more you accomplish the lesser you feel the more lost you are it isn't a surprise at all because you are not nourishing your roots all your energy all your precious energy is being wasted nourishing those things that are simply clinging to you which will anyways perish when you go the world cannot exist without you a prophet's words is a reminder of something that is already there within you